Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what is up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Dude Man Homie Roll podcast. The Dude Needs to be Pod. Yeah. We're all here. I'm Patrick Christopher. We got Jacob Flores, Scott Ramos, and our special guest today, Loser. Bam, 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 bam. Loser go. Lou. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're Red Solo. We're Red, Red Solo, Solo team now. Cheers and cheers and cheers. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, where's your drink? You drink it all? I took it to the dome. Chug the Red Bull at he 7 o'clock. He don't play, man. He don't play. <laughs> That's a wild move. That's a wild move. See, now, if that was me, Red Bull would, like, keep me up all night. Not in the fun way, just like a, like a unresting type no. of situation. I can't do that. I could drink coffee at night, but I can't do Red Bull or but anything. But you do just black. Yeah, I just do black. I don't do, like, I don't add sugar, so I guess it's the sugar stuff. But even the sugar-free will get me, like... Bro, I've done math and passed out. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's been documented. You need tranquilizer darts. Bro, it's weird. Like, I'll knock out. I can knock out on things very easily. It's like, what's that. the point, dude? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a fun ride till you get there. Well, some, yeah, but you, sometimes your body you, just needs rest. Yeah. <laughs> and Sorry I work to, so much, Pat. If you pass out, it's like, well, that's not the point. It's and supposed to be to honest with you, party. it is bomb sleep. Yeah. It's, it's sleep. It is bomb sleep. Yeah, like a drunk sleep. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. What's the longest you ever stayed at? Probably like two three or three. Days. Yeah. Three days. Oh, I, did, yeah. I did like nine, 10 days one time. Jesus. What? I was oh, a for five years. Yeah. Damn. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bitch to quit, bro. I relapsed twice, never went back. It's Damn. I've done that once and that was it. I was it, like, no, thank you, dude. I don't want cheers. none of that. It gets a bad stigma, but it is fun. It's not fun. No, it is when you're I, I don't know, man. It's not fun at I mean, all, like, dude. It, I guess it's how you use it. You know, it's all drugs. You know what I mean? Well, I love all drugs. Yeah, drug, drugs are fun. Don't get me wrong. They're Dr- very fun. Drugs I like, are bad. I like doing drugs. And I've been doing good about not doing drugs lately. That's what's up. Same, bro. Hell yeah. Hello, Same. hello back. It, you gotta do the fun ones. It's the it's the angry ones. It's the the bad ones. It's the ones. This that is have... an angry one to me. <laughs> no nah, man. It all, but Patty gets drunk and he gets happy. He gets real time. happy. That's the only time I'm I am happy. Patty turns into the fucking life of the ballroom, dude. He's fucking. Yeah, that's him. That's <laughs> drunk Patty, dude. <laughs> and he's playing drums, dude. It's live. The next day though, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything and everything hates me. It's bad. I feel but, that. It's a balance. You got It's a that's, balance neck. That's tomorrow's problem. Yeah, that's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Bro, that's a, that's a life motto, dude. That's a tomorrow problem. Damn, but what if tomorrow never comes? Then you don't have to worry about it, right? True that. Don't worry about anything. Her. Yeah. True that, man. Yeah. Like, evict me. I'm already evicted from my body. Yeah. Stay sober, everybody. Don't. Yeah. Uh... Unless you're gonna drive. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Lou, man, loser. I, I find yeah. it so hard to call you loser. I know that's your like your tag, your thing you go by, and you're like, oh, that's my name and all that stuff. Yeah, but uh, yeah, go really ahead. quick, man, go ahead and just plug your Instagram where people can find you. Just quick, you know, oh, uh, tell, tell everybody L-E-W-S-R, who you are. L e w s r loser or uh, w w dot loser dot com l e w s r dot com. Uh, my podcast De Lucico T e l e w s i c o. It's on every streaming platform. And when's this dropping? Uh, probably Friday. Probably this Friday. All right. Uh, Friday, September 6th, I'm hosting a gallery show at the Annex at Blue Star. I'm very excited about that. Nice. I have some amazing photographers showing some pictures. I got Mikey Strange and uh, uh, Bold Hugh playing some live beats. It's going to be fun. Um, real quick, dog. I saw some of the pictures you took of Patty. Uh-huh. Yeah, she looks tight. He's one of my favorite. The ones you got like in right Austin, there. they they look actually they look really sick, dude. You know, so somebody that came on the podcast before kind of hurt my feelings because they said something like, "Man, if it wasn't for comedy, I would never talk to you." Uh-huh. Like he said that to me, like I was like, I took it the wrong way, dude. But when you think about it, like if it wasn't for comedy, like I wouldn't have ever met you, dude. Yeah. And so like that's cool. Like when you think about it from a different perspective, it was like I'm glad that we had this kind of a connection that we wouldn't have had before, you know. And there's no way your past would have crossed. No way, unless yeah. uh, without comedy, without like this one and little then, thing. And then I find out that you like grunge music. Yeah. And then you're we into find hats. out the connections after that. <laughs> dude. It's just, but we, there was there's no link that would have ever made us pass, uh, cross paths before that. And uh, so that's that's fucking dope, dude. Like just because we met at the station and then kept running into each other in Austin and all that stuff. And uh, you're, I mean. You're like a kind of celebrity, but it's weird because like you make other people feel like rock stars. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you. That's what's up. I appreciate. You'll that. go up to people like, "Hey, man, like, can I take a picture?" And like, everybody, of course, if they're comics, us called comics, they want attention. Like, yeah, this is kind of a headshot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they always tell me that. Like, can yeah. I, this is a headshot. It's like, yeah, just ask me for the pictures before like I delete them. Like, give me three months, I'm gonna delete those hoes. Nah, the shit you posted, it was it was sick, dude. I really liked it. It was good. It was good quality work. It's a craft, man. Like, it's just like being it a barber. Is. Like, you barbers make people feel good because they're really good at it. Like, not everyone can be a barber. Not everyone can just take a picture with a camera. Like, you gotta know shit. You yeah. Know? So that's dope, dude. Yeah. It's for sure is a craft, dude. Because like you make it look so easy. Like you kind of like know like all the settings and like the vibe like I that don't. the cap. Really? No. <laughs> what? How? Secrets how? Out. how? <laughs> How what? Like how did how did you figure it out? What, did man, you just I've, fuck I've, with been, I've been shooting for twenty five years. Man. Oh okay. But if anybody says like, oh, what's the ISO or what's the uh, like shutter speed? I'm not, I'm not that kind of photographer. Stuff? Really? Never? I'm not not that at all. Kind of photographer. Nah, like. Uh, Damn. Okay. I like shooting film, but I cheat because I like shooting disposable film. Yeah. Like I'm sorry, disposable cameras, like like these. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> If I, know, Kodak, if, if, his arm. if I'm loading up film, I'm gonna fuck it up. Uh huh. Like, you show the one good one, not the 24 bad ones. No, I'm gonna fucking fuck the whole roll up. Like, it'll get exposed to light or something. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. It always happens that way. Setting up a camera always stressed me out, like, as a kid. Even, like, those ones, those little, like, the two circles with the line in between, like, the old, <laughs> what are those, the 35 millimeter yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those old ones, I loved those cameras, even though, like, the, the quality was kind of, like, crappy or whatever, because you just pop it in, close it, whatever. But for the other rolls, where you have to like set it up nicely, just catch it on the little thing, close it like fast or whatever. Like that would always stress me out. And stuff. Bro, when I worked at Walmart, I used to I used to do the one hour film. Yes, <laughs> I, I, bro, I fucked up so many rolls. Oh yeah, for sure. Like they got exposed to light when you crack it open because you do it in the dark. And you're like, yeah. And I always fucked it up. I did the same I had thing. A, I, I, yo, when the customer comes back, I'm going to break. <laughs> have, have you seen one hour photo? Wrong no, no. Yeah, the live movie is what I haven't. No, it's crazy. No, I lived it. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the movie, you're not gonna want to live that. All right, I didn't live it. Yeah, it's like does a he die at the movie. end? It's a, oh. he's like a bad guy. Of course, I ain't gonna watch that shit. He's a he's a misunderstood character. There we go. There we go. He's a misunderstood character. Because you can't character. call Robin Williams a bad guy. No, In the movie, not. he was. Yeah, he no, can. Miss Doubtfire. No. He dressed like a lady to play with kids. <laughs> His kids. His kids. <laughs> Do we know that? <laughs> Sally Fields was running around a little funny with Pierce Bronson. Who knows how long that started? <laughs> my favorite part for that movie, man, we're all over the place. But, but the, my favorite part of the movie is when like she finds out, when Sally Fit finds out, and she's like, the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, she's going back to all the things that they've done together. Like she undressed. Even though it was her husband, so I don't know why you're getting like freaked out. But like, X. But it, at one time, it was her husband that was allowed to see her naked, and like she's like, I was dressed in front of this Mrs. Doubtfire. She's like, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes belong to the streets, bro. But no, I've always been like a big fan of like uh, photographers, man. Like my my sister in law is a photographer. She does like more like landscaping stuff, like oh. Ansel Adams stuff. Has a great eye for it. Uh, one of our homies of the pod, uh, Chase Otero, uh, he he shoots pictures at the mothership. Oh, He's sick. one of the uh, mothership photographers, uh, and then your stuff is always dope, dude. Like it's just like, and you're just like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like pointing and shoot. It's like, <laughs> what? That's crazy, man. <laughs> Are you like old school graffiti? I don't do graffiti. Did you ever? You don't? No, no. All my homies did. Like, yeah. I was in a graffiti crew, but I just took pictures. Nice. I just documented for the homies. Did you do shit like on the like trains and buses? I've or, been, I mean, they did. And I've you, I've been out there while they're doing it, and uh, is it as dangerous as people make it out? Well, I mean, just think of it like this: like you're out in a train yard, like if those bulls, you mean Pacific Police, come up to you, they can do whatever the fuck they want to you. You're yeah. in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and it's your word against theirs. <laughs> like, did any situation come up where you had a duck? We, yeah, of course, we had to run a few times. Yeah, damn. Where did you go? Okay, are you are you San Antonio? Place? Are you San Antonio the whole way? Yeah. Okay, so where where would you go? Nah, man, I can't say that. Man. People are still doing it. Yeah, man. Okay, I, I would hate to blow up the spot. So, but I mean, like, what what happens when you take the pictures of it? Can people like kind of deduct like, oh, they're at this place or I mean, at this I'm, place? I would try and take a picture of like just the box car, uh huh, and try not to get the scenery around it. Oh, okay. It's weird, like. When I was younger, I was like, oh, that's, you know, I could never do graffiti. So I was like, oh, man, why are they messing up with stuff? But then when you're sitting at, at like a train stop 
and like you just see like all this stuff and it's getting like more intricate yeah. and detailed and all this stuff. I was like, God damn, that is a fucking art, dude. It's crazy. It's it, crazy because that travels all over. And then it goes everywhere. From Mexico to Canada. And there's been times where I feel like I, it might be like uh, the same artist or whatever, but I feel like I've seen like the same car multiple times in that, my life. That is pretty rad when you point that out. Like, dude, you can I go know across I've the seen states. That one. Like, it just goes everywhere. Yeah, I'll, see, I always I'll, see, I'll see some of the homies from like, you know, Chicago, uh, Kansas City, I'll see their cars roll through, and I'm just like, oh shit, that's wild. I always look bottom right that's to see cool. if they have their handle up. Uh, yeah, because at the bottom right, that's where they sign it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And I always try to see if I can fi- if I can make out what the handle says. Oh, I can't read it for shit, but I, yeah, but I, I, I mean, I got bomb ass eyes. I can re- I can respect it, like just for the art of it, you know, because there's like layers to it. Like, I what I don't like, and I don't, I don't know if this is gonna piss anybody off, but like just lazy. Graffiti. Well, what do you think is lazy graffiti, and what do you mean by that? Like, uh, I think he's talking yeah. like the three D shit, where well, you actually took time, where stuff like okay, like if you could make something like look like an actual like uh, piece of art, you know, there's colors, there's layers, there's textures to it, or whatever. Or when you just see people just like scratch, scribble some stuff. I was like, you didn't have to do that. See, like, all, some, like all you're doing is just making a mess about stuff. It's rowdy because some of the times uh, they'll use like a fire extinguisher. What do you mean uh, to paint? Yeah. Wow. And it'll be it'll be fucking huge, but it's because they're using you know a fucking fire extinguisher doing some shit. That's crazy. like my homie Dems is fucking he kills it with that shit. Really? Yeah. And like if you see that piece versus like a piece he does with paint, you totally see the difference. I didn't. I don't even know that fire <laughs> fire extinguisher was a uh, yeah. What's could in, be a paint. I know. What's in a fire extinguisher? Oh I'm man, I'll, I'll it. get into it when we're not, when we're not uh, recording. Oh really? Yeah. All right. Because uh, so, like I've seen something like that, like where it's just like splatter stuff. Like it, what, now that makes sense. Like oh now okay, it was a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Because you always figure like what what are they using? <laughs> well, I have another friend that like he used to get up everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Like I remember one time me and him we. Uh, he got down, it was on 410 and I 10, right there were my crossroads. And uh, hmm. he got down into there. And I got down kind of into there, but I didn't go down further. I put a GoPro on him, and uh, it was scary because you look down and, you know, it's like 100 feet down, like straight, and you're just sitting there like, oh, fuck. I'm a pussy when it comes to heights. Yeah. I ain't man. got the juice. Yeah, it was crazy. Shout out Fire BH. Like, fire kills it. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Uh, but like a lot of those things, like you, you, you could tell that they were in like a dangerous situation, you know, where they could do something off the side of a wall or something like off of like a two thirty five. Yeah, like dude. 45. It's just like yeah, damn. The boards is wild. <laughs> dude, I don't understand how they get on top of like thirty five. We're thirty five and four tennis. Mm-hmm. How yeah. they tag like the bridge. How yeah. And the part of me is like, are they doing that shit like upside down? Jetpack. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm watching I'm like, I'm like trying to put the like schematics of it together I don't see it yeah I've seen people like where they like pull pull like a pull over as if like they have like a <laughs> like, like a, a blowout or something yeah and then they'll uh and then you drive by there like a day or two and it's all like just like spray painting where the car was <laughs> But it's still like rushed. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Like on the side of the highway. Yeah, this, on like the barricade part, the yeah, median yeah, yeah. part. I was like, dog, like you, uh, you still rush that job. Like I'm all like critiquing them. Like that's kind of rushed, bro. That's uh, what is this amateur hour? What are we doing here? Uh, <laughs> you know? can, can any of y'all dri- uh, uh, drive? I can't draw. draw. Where, draw I nah, can't draw. My graffiti would be like the signs where it says like "I love you" and someone crosses it out and puts tacos. tacos. <laughs> you just do the graffiti. S, the, the, the S with the up. Uh, you know what I mean? My graffiti artwork. Dude. I'm a, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm an ab- I'm an abstract uh, <laughs> uh, sketcher or doodler. And all my doodles look like vagina lips. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've been called the Sounds Jackson climbing. Pollock of my time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> From the ladies. <laughs> Damn, dude. So what made you, like, pick up a camera? What made you get into that shit? Or made you, like, want to start doing that? Influences uh, or anything? Ju- jun- junior year at uh, Taft, I was on the newspaper. And... I absolutely loved it. It was me, two other dudes, and like twenty five girls in the classroom. Oh hell yeah, nice! <laughs> I like those odds, boys. <laughs> oh, you 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 made the class newspaper? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I used to do that, you know, junior year, senior year. I was gonna be an editor, and I I, I, I was smoking a lot of weed back then. So hell yeah! I had yeah. to I had to graduate before I could do anything, so they took me out of all electives. Damn. Oh, you got caught? 
Uh, no, I just got just fucking just. Oh, you just got lazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a gateway drug. I feel you. So, Laziness. I mean. And then and then. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so now you do like these art exhibits and you like host them. Like, what, like you're involved in like the San Antonio scene. That's pretty dope. Like, what made you get into that? What was your first introduction to like, you know, hosting exhibits oh, and shit. being a part I don't know about scene? my first in- introduction, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to show off my art. Yeah. Like, I wanted to show stuff off my way. Like, I got tired of going to, you know, other people's shows, seeing, you know, other, I would see stuff and I'd be like, damn, like, my shit's doper than that. Yeah. So then I just started saying, you know what, fuck it. Like, I'm going to put money up and I'm going to just print it out and I'm going to find a spot and I'm going to show my shit. And I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And, you know, thankfully this year I've been granted a lot of amazing opportunities. Like my book, I got, I got a gifted Pat book. Oh, yeah. Plug it, my book, American Way. American Way. Oh, no way. Yeah. Simone Way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me um, feed it real quick. Yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, uh, you got the loser in the in the Kelsey Graham in the Frasier. I love that <laughs> shit. Yeah, dope. yeah. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, so this is my fourth book that I've done. Do I had another, is that it. the collective? No, that's my, my homeboy Pete. It was his wedding, and these are my boys since high school, so oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Shout out Dom. She took a picture of the, the cover. My homeboy exhausted the hand style. So uh, this is your fourth wow. book? What up? This is your fourth book? Yeah, this is my fourth book. Okay. Um, what, what, shout out the titles real quick. What are your titles? Of the well, books? I had Instacrack, <laughs> one, two, and three. Nice. And it was all instant photography on Fuji Instax film. It was like Supreme film. I got Southside Hoodlum doing gangster ass shit on Taylor Swift film. Uh, is that I like Hoodlum. Can... Hoodlum's dope. Yeah, he's I like Hoodlum. He was, that... he was he's a my, rapper. He was in my book in uh, 2020, Instacrack 3. Okay. That ghetto, wasn't that? That's ghetto gospel. That's sauce money, but where, gospel. That's my shit. Where can people find your book? Or well, the thing is, the, I made 125. Oh, that was it. Nice. I've been, oh, been kind of wanting to like throw them online, but I don't yeah. know if that's corny or not. I'm still nah, yeah, it fucking put it it's up. It's corny. No, it's not fucking corny. <laughs> throw it up, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Why would it? Why would? Why would it be corny? I don't know because the whole like I only made 125. The I limited. Want to keep? Yeah, the limited. Yeah, but this edition. is worth more than online. Yeah. At least you get to see what's in the book. Here I mean, I got I got the copy right here, like that's way better. But yeah, it is kind of cool. I, have, I think I might throw oh, that on the, the website. It is kind of cool to have like idea. that. I need, a, I need to sit on my web. Design. No, that shit was sick. That was a dope ass book. How long does the that camera, take you? The camera, the camera. Ah. Oh, what he do you mean? put it in front of the computer. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> well, shout out uh my editor Zerk Zertronic. He uh he's actually the person who talked me into making a book. Are you running like hundred percent local? Like everything's in house. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Bro, because like, if you were to tell me like who can make a book here, I would have no fucking idea where to point you. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, man. Uh, sh- I don't want to name where I get them printed because it's kind of a secret. But fuck, man. They, they hook me up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. And now it's in the library? How would you get it? Oh, yeah. It's in San Antonio Public Library. Uh, Just the American Way one, though. Yeah. Right? Shout okay. out Mauro de la Tierra. He, uh, he chose 30 artists and he painted watercolors of us and it's actually showing in the library until september 14th downtown library uh the big enchilada and uh when the opening reception i kind of mentioned that i had a book and uh i can't remember i'm bad with names but uh one of the ladies was just like hey uh you know if you got one we'll put it in here so i was i donated two and one's under like uh i want to say chicano artist the other's like in i think just regular circulation yeah that's dope dude like what, has it always been like big and acceptable type of thing, or is this like a new thing for like gra- graffiti to be like a- a- actual in the library? In the library, are considered an actual art form, or like mainstream? I guess. Well, I mean, or? it's I th- I feel like it's been mainstream ever since the internet kind of like yeah. came out. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the internet ruined everything. Yeah, ruined graffiti, ruined skateboarding, ruined music. It ruined being able to cheat it for ruined sure. Everything. <laughs> Everything in the world. I mean, it did good for porn, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to hate on internet the whole way through, dude. Like, there's some good points. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you want to squeeze one out wherever you can, you can now. <laughs> yeah, man. Like an American, dude. <laughs> the American way, man. <laughs> American graffiti. <laughs> but yeah, the name of the title, I switched it up, you know. Uh, you know, it's just from my perspective, you know, the whole book, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm a way. That's yeah. my pronoun, way, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That was cool. But how'd you get? How'd you start getting linked up with like uh, with comedy and stuff? Like when you start like shooting that stuff? Uh how did I do that? I don't. I don't know. I was fucked up at the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, um, it's pretty recently though, right? Yeah, within the past maybe like five, six months. Uh, Della months. Stoner. Okay. Della, yeah. shout out Della. That's my heterosexual life mate right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, of bomb shit. <laughs> <laughs> we started. Uh, we one day we went to kill Tony. Uh, to the poor house, you know, trying to get on, and I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm going on, and I have a minute prepared, but man, I'm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what, have you done it already? No. Oh, you haven't done it yet. No. Okay, okay. Like if I get chosen, I'm dead. I'm gonna just be up there, like. Ugh. You think so? <laughs> nah, man. I might, I might. A flatter fight's gonna kick in. You know what I mean? Have you been on stage at all speaking? I've hosted a few shows. Uh, okay. You're comfortable. I've done public speaking at like Digital Pro Lab. Last year, that was fun. I spoke to like a sold out crowd of like 50 people. Oh, yeah. Uh, just talking about photography and stuff. Did you crack any jokes then? Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's so five months. So I, miss, I miss the station, man. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're bringing, we're, it's Francis Bogside. We're not doing it's, we're, it's just not Francis Bogside. Shout out to Francis Bogside. Thank Yo, you. shout out Wavy Davies. Send me that video. Thank you for the, uh, <laughs> for the hostility. No, the hospitality. Uh, <laughs> that was a slip. Francis Bogside, Rodian thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> we will. We do have a new spot. Uh, I haven't. We haven't announced it yet. Uh, but shout out uh, Davy, Tori, Tenvir. They worked their ass off to find That's a new spot. That's fucking badass. So we do have something coming up. Those pictures he posted look good. Other uh, the way yeah. the stage is going to be. Uh, er everything's back to normal. It's all peace. The white flags or red flags or whatever means peace time. Like we're all, we're all good. There was some drama with like that that club. They stole some merch from us, but the merch. Oh, I saw the videos on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the merch has been returned, and so we're just like, all right, I guess that's an apology. So we're just like. You that's do, not an apology. That's just getting your shit back. Well, you do you. We'll do us. And hopefully, like, everybody just prospers and becomes <laughs> successful and enjoys the stage time. That's that's all we want. Bro, the more I think about it, like, you know, there's, like, there was people laughing about the station being closed. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that gets me is, like, why would you, why would you want that? Especially people that never built anything for yeah, themselves. That's just, that's just hate. But, like, no, 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 no. But, like, for the city... Why would you want that? That's just for the hate. scene. That's just hate, bro. Because now that's one room that was solid. Yeah, it, that was, we lost. it was solid. I, I loved it because I loved going there. Because one of the bartenders, I used to run a, a record label, um, maybe like ten years ago, and one of the bartenders was on my label. So seeing Maddie down there was amazing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, did you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, he he'd go by letter P, and dude, that guy's amazing writer. And then like music wise, he kills it. Yeah. But yeah, I loved it because I'd go there, I'd see Maddie, I'd see everyone, you know, cracking jokes. Um, I could just walk to, walk into a back room where I wasn't allowed to take pictures of people and no one would care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you look like you belong, people you belong. Be convinced yeah. you Nobody belong. Questions. You know? Nobody yeah, questions. I've, I've definitely learned that along the way. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, hopefully, I haven't toured the new spot yet, uh, but hopefully it'll be good and I hopefully think, it'll be is it, is it downtown? Uh, Southtown. It's out, it's north of downtown. I thought Velasquez, Velasquez said a street or something. Yeah, I'll tell you where it is after after because yeah. nothing's been officially announced. Okay, yet, I don't okay, think okay. so. I don't. We're gonna break ground yeah. here. You're not the only one with secrets, man. <laughs> 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 but the station will be back, and uh, we're all good that's, with that's, everybody, that's and so it's badass. all fine. I like that. Yeah, man. I mean, because the station, uh, like, it was never really about the room. The room itself was cool. Francis Bogside was cool. We don't have any downtown, like central downtown. Uh, well, I was not really central, but downtown comedy. Yeah. At all, we had Jokester Twenty Two for a while, which is Southtown downtown. Where? Uh, Jokester Twenty Two on Preston. Yeah. Oh, I remember that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, River Center. We had River Center, but uh, that, that was, that's been down for a minute, no? Yeah, fucking for long time, bro. Five that's when years. I, yeah. When I first started, it started going down. Uh, so yeah, it was cool that to have a spot downtown. There was some difficulties and all this stuff. Parking was a bitch. Uh, parking was a bitch. Parking wasn't that bad. Dog. It was if you got there at eleven. You just park over by the tracks. The first time I did my show downtown, we had a uh, group of something at Frost, and we Get had it, Luke yeah. Combs at oh, the Alamo right? Dome. I remember yeah. that, that sold out all weekend long, starting that Friday, and I was like. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Dog, wait. Fuck this place. Real quick, side bitch about work, real quick, on Friday. So I was at the Marriott River Center to get to there, to the Hyatt Regency. It's like an eight-minute walk. Mm. Journey and Def Leppard were here at the Alamo Dome. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's an eight-minute walk. It took me 25 minutes to drive. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. I, it was a bunch of lot lizards. Like, yeah, it man. looked yeah, rough. Man. A bunch of people. I was looking age. for Jake. I know he likes that shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, Not man. lot lizards. <laughs> well, <laughs> Def Leppard ain't a lot lizards. Yeah, man. We, come from, we call that a twofer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so don't like. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I work for an AV company. Oh, okay, okay. So I just drop shit off at hotels. Oh, okay, okay. I work downtown. Oh, uh, where? Or, uh, no. I, I River Center. Oh, at the mall? Uh, Hell yeah. I was just bullshitting over there. That place is so different. Yeah, Bro, it's, it's, does, it's not. It's not. It's not what it was. Yeah, yeah, it's a tourist trap. It's crazy. Yeah, it's all clean now, man. Like they don't even have Taco Bell. They got Indian food though. Oh, they got rid of Taco Bell. Yeah, R.I.P. to the yeah. gods. And the, the the guy at the Indian food place got caught taking pictures of a uh, young girls. Dang. Yeah, they still put them on, They put them on blast on TikTok. I mean, that's your yeah. You gotta get dealt with like that. You but know? what do you do wrong? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> I feel you, bud. We'll talk to Tanvir. Nah, man. <laughs> Ton. Ton. Tanvir. Tanvir. Uh, yeah, man, I was in Austin. I went to Austin. I, I missed all that stuff. I went to Austin, took the wife to go see Grupo Fr- uh, Frontera hey. up there. Nice. And but so she Bad, had, man. They had like... Uh, here's my thing with them. I, mean, I don't know if you follow who Frontera is. Grupo yeah, Frontera. I love them. They have this one video... Where they're in the studio and there's no women, so they just dance with each other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Fuck it's it. the pre-show. <laughs> anyway. yeah, they're a band. But uh, good they're thing a boy I, band. You practice your dance moves on a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you went in raw. <laughs> you didn't practice with your oh, boys. You got shit for brains, kids, but you got balls. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got a point there. That's, a, that's one of my karaoke go-to's. Yeah. That's how I learned Spanish. Really? It's karaoke, yeah. Maybe I should. Oh, do that. What song do you do, Bebe? Uh, Bebe Dame. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because I took her to Austin, like there wasn't like a lot of Austin tickets sold, so they got upgraded. They got really oh, fucking shit. badass seats. Dude, yeah, that's always great. Yeah, a surprise upgrade. Surprise Call upgrade. Me. Oh shit! <laughs> Were weren't we together when uh, Gabe got us hooked up? When we met Oscar De La Hoya? Yeah. We, so were, dude, all, we all were together boxing. at one point? Yeah. 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 We still we are. Together. We're <laughs> strong, baby. They used to live together, but, you know. We moved out. But we're separated, but still married. <laughs> you know, yeah. Common yeah. law. <laughs> goes, the lawyers. Common law and all that They're stuff. They're bumping their feet. Yeah. Um, no, but, like, we got hooked up. We were we were in the second call area. Mm. And then Gabe knew the guy. The guy was like, he, I think, tried to wave us down. But he ended up coming to get us. And then we were like third row. We're like floor. Yeah, yeah floor dude. Like third row. Yeah. Where we ended up getting moved. And that's when I... Uh... <laughs> and that's when I got to meet Bernard Hopkins, and that broke my heart. Why did it break your heart? Bro, he looked at me and just turned his back. He, he saw a degenerate. <laughs> he doesn't know you. No, 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 no. There's a gate around us. I was like, yo, B-Hop, B-Hop. And then he just looked at me and was like... <laughs> and then walked away. <laughs> there, dude. At least Oscar gave me a picture. Yeah, uh, a fish nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, he might he might have been having a bad day. He's at a fight. He can't be having a bad day. Maybe maybe he's struggling with the when chick. When you have no, he was he he had one with him that was. Oh yeah, <laughs> he does all right. But uh, yeah, that one that one that one hurt. I that would hurt. I met Jeremy Piven. And he was a jerk to me. I paid for the meet and greet. He just kind of like you paid for a meet and greet with Jeremy Piven. Yeah. How much? How, How much? much? I don't fucking remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, all right, all right. All right. If you had to guess, it was like fifty bucks. Fifty right. bucks yeah. for a meet and greet. That's with like, tickets, right? Yeah, for the that was show. With the ticket. Yeah, with Jeremy Piven. Fifty bucks included the ticket. Yeah. All right. So that's twenty five a ticket, twenty five to meet and greet. So, so Jeremy, back to Jeremy Piven. He just fucking like. Let's pivot back to Piven. Is it post? Is it post Entourage? Uh, yeah, this was like maybe two years ago. Okay. Tony, Tony Casillas opened up. It was a good time. And uh, yeah. yeah, he just kind of like looked me up and down and he didn't want to like, he didn't take a picture. I was kind of like, man, fuck this shit. That's I called, the, I hey, called him greet Tiny me. Yeah. I paid I you meet, to greet me. met you. Now greet me. That's why. Yeah, I was just like, whatever, Tiny Dancer, and I walked off. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. I only did one meet and greet ever and it was with Miss Pat because I fucking love Miss Pat. Really? Yeah, it was free, but it was, <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to stand in line to meet her. <laughs> dude, when I was working door at the club, I got to meet so many cool people. What club? LOL. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I first started stand up, I, I, I was the door guy. 
Thank you. Shout out Bosquez. Uh, like the nicest dude was by far. Uh, what's that dude's name? DC Youngfly. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was the sweetest person I've ever met. But he wasn't like big. At yeah, that he was. Time. Oh, was he yeah, big? he uh, sold out. South? He sold out. LOL. No, it was the whole eighty-five South. Yeah. So it was all of them. They have that dude. online, dude. You can see that on I, YouTube now. I lied. I did meet Wale on my birthday. That's sick. That's pretty cool. I That's forgot. Cool. It was like met 20, Wale on 20. your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I think my my biggest. I met Mike Vick at, at an airport, and I followed his ass too. With the dog treat? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, like, I saw him. He posted up at McDonald's, and I was just waiting. Like, uh, like is that? There's no way it's fucking Mike Vick. Yeah. But it's, it's an airport, and I think I was in Philly. And uh, I saw where I followed him all the way to his terminal, where oh, he was damn. going. That's creepy. And, and then I looked up, and it was, Virgi- it was VA Beach. He's from Virginia. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, it's fucking Mike Vick. Yeah. And I kept following him. And then he turned around, and he looked at me. He's like, hey, what's up, man? And I was like. This isn't my terminal. <laughs> I turned around and walked away, dude. I got I got starstruck. That's funny, man. That's pretty funny. Uh, you brought up Clutch, right? Uh, that's the first time. Oh, it wasn't meet and greet. It was just like so, so happening. Uh, so they were opening up for Limp Biscuit. This is Limp Biscuit before Limp Biscuit. Like, was, it, was this at the White Rabbit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I was at that show. Really? I was, okay. I was a fucking child, but yeah, I was. Was there. it Faith Limp Biscuit? Yeah, well, this was right right before uh, three dollar bills yeah. came out, or they were touring three dollar bills, but it was okay. right before they went it, it to hadn't that. Like the, blown up, they haven't been right. on MTV Spring Break yet. Once oh, they were on MTV go. Spring they, Break, that's when they blew up, right? Oh wow! But we went. We didn't know what Limp Biscuit, what's Limp Biscuit? We didn't know. Oh, you went for Clutch because Clutch was opening up. Clutch was opening up, and so fucking went for Clutch. We rocked out, and we were like, "So are we dipping? Are we gonna hang out? I don't know. We'll just hang. We'll see what's up." Fucking Limp Bizkit fucking rule, dude. Yeah, they fucking rock. It was they, they still rock. Fucking great. Wow. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, they're but still doing their thing. I just hate how they cuss and they yell the cuss word. That's what I don't, That's what all they yell. Well, yeah, that's everybody. It's like, I'm going to break your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's... But wait, wait, so, so uh, <laughs> but they were good. $3 bills it was a good fucking album. Uh, but so... We went backstage or the backstage area between like uh, the, the White Rabbit and their buses or whatever. And we went backstage. And so we're just standing there. And there's like maybe like maybe 10 of us, whatever, some homies and some other fucking strangers, whatever. And Fred is the first one to come out. And he grabs my friend by the shoulder. He's like, Hey, man, what'd you think of the show? And my friend goes, I'm not here to see you. <laughs> <laughs> It shook him off because no. we were there to see Clutch. We were there to see Clutch, and like we got to hang out with like we oh, saw uh, Neil and then uh, uh, like, John hey, Paul. Fred, go get Clutch for me. <laughs> we didn't even talk to Limp Biscuit at all. We're just like oh, it was a good show, but whatever. Get off me, whatever. That's fucked up. Dude. Hung, hung, hung out, hung out with uh, the drummer Drake's from Frank. Clutch, and he's like, "Hey man, you want to smoke?" I was like, "No, nah, but my mom's gonna pick me up right now." <laughs> you know? hey, how old are you? Man, this was probably my sophomore year, freshman sophomore year. Oh, shit. Year. Oh, wow. I was already on probation. Yeah, dude. I could be going out. And then uh, and then probably about a couple weeks later, Limp Biscuit on MTV Spring Break, right? And then they fucking blew up. Yeah, I remember uh, the, the next time they came after that, they were at Sunken Gardens. Yeah. they. I mean, they just blew up. And n- nobody knew who DJ Lethal was. He was walking around Oh, wow. Crowd, and I was just like, yo, Lethal, let me get a picture. Yeah. Because you're a House of Pain fan or what? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I like, they have two good songs. Am I tripping? Is he not part of Cypress Hill too? No. No. House of Pain. Yeah. Who's the DJ for Cypress Hill? Mugs. DJ Mugs. You're right. I think it's Mugs. Yeah, you're right. He's actually the only one from New York. I thought Mugs was the other singer guy. No. The other rapper guy. I just gonna be real. Be uh, real. Sin Dog. Yeah, Sin Dog. And yeah, Mugs is the DJ. Uh, but yeah, it was so funny. He's like, I'm not here to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they blew up, he was like, I met Fred Durst. Oh. <laughs> he was like, I met him before. He fucking said, hey, what's up? I was like, He wanted up? to meet me. I didn't want to meet <laughs> yeah. him. So, so one, one time, uh, back to Sunken Gardens, Incubus and Deftones were playing, and uh, Disturbed was playing the next night at a different venue. But I see the lead singer to Disturbed chilling. So I walked up to him, and I'm like, Is hey. Aaron Lewis? No, that's Stan. No. Oh. <laughs> so I walk say? up. I, I forgot his name. Like I'm Day not a Disturbed fan, Damon? but I saw I saw oh. something. I saw homie chilling. And I was like, "Yo, you're the lead singer Disturbed. Can I get a picture with you?" He's like, "Yeah, sure, but don't tell anybody it's me." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Dude is walking around with the fucking tusk and his fucking lips and shit. So don't no, it was before that. It was before that. <laughs> so like, I, they, <laughs> they snapped the picture, and I was just like, "Hey, everybody, the lead singer to Disturbed's right here." Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, <that's> hilarious. <laughs> 
bad. He just kind of like, oh, fuck. You did that whole, Smokey's taking a shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was an amazing show, though. Uh, uh, Sunken Gardens. That was Sunken spot, Gardens was bro. great, dude. I missed that spot. Dude, they don't still do concerts there, right? Sunken Gardens. I and... remember Fu Esta was there. Fu, I saw a Foo Fighters play there. It was amazing. Oh, really? I saw Stain like two or three times there, too. Is yeah. that Aaron Lewis? Yeah. That's Aaron Lewis. <laughs> Before his country stuff. Uh, no, White Pony's a good fuck album. Just it's so great, you know. For, front to back. It's, it's a White great Pony's album. just an amazing fuck, album. <laughs> it's a good fuck album. It's a great album, for sure. <laughs> That'll make it last longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the real, that's the real method. Is that true? <laughs> I, yeah. I saw a meme and it was like a <laughs> Deftones just hearing hearing a middle aged man moan for thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Quasi told me I look like Chino on Facebook. I don't know. Dude, I, every, I think he said we all do. <laughs> every 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 Hispanic middle aged dude looked like Chino. I'm not middle aged though. Yeah. I'm not a fifty year old cokehead. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that was an old school thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you, you expect to live long, bro. <laughs> no, God, no. I was middle aged thirty five. I'm thirty six. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. But damn. So okay. So and you had you had set out to try to hit the stage, do some time as a comic before your birthday. When's your birthday? Nine eleven. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my 18th birthday. Oh. Dude, we got to get you and Tenveer together, man. Oh, that's my homie right there. Yeah. Just argue both sides. <laughs> what do you mean? He, I, don't, I, I don't know. He had everything to do with it. Yeah. He'll, he'll crash at your spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I saw he was nice. doing a hot jam on 9-11, I was like, man, you really bringing it down that night. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it doesn't bomb. But um, got him. So okay. So what? Are you still gonna do it around your birthday? You're still gonna attempt to? No, we're getting close. Yeah, it is. I'm twenty first. I've been writing here and there, and I've been trying. I, I try and make Della laugh. Uh, I try and make my lady laugh. Shout out Heavy. Heavy's been heavyweight champion of the world. He's been helping me a lot with some things as well. Yeah. But man, I'd like to, but. My mind is just so focused on trying to get off probation. Oh, I see that. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be funny when you're stressed the fuck out. Bro, it's hard to be funny when you gotta fucking wait for the via every fucking day. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, it's like yeah. that? Yeah. Damn. Because, uh, I mean, lifts are expensive. Uber and lifts. Doing that every day, twice yeah, a day. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that, bro. Like, what side of town are you on? West side. Oh. All the way downtown? What do you mean? What do you mean? West, West Side's great. Well, there's not for comedy. There's nothing out there. <laughs> yeah. oh, there's, there's nothing out there like for entertainment at all. Like There's like hole-in-the-wall bars. Yeah, but Mexican food. Dude, yeah. realize, if you think about it, we have nothing on Marbot, which is a popular popular hey, area. It's, that's probably good, though. Yeah. Bro, but we have nothing on Bandera. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't th- I don't think the city uh, is is good for to spread out what the, what the comedy scene has right now. I mean, it'd be cool. It would be cool, but I don't think I don't think we have the comics or the audience to like keep it. I know. I, know North I think North we have the comics. We don't North, have Northwest Side is Danny Boys. Oh, that's, that's been that's, there. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's no, but I'm talking about Shout out Danny Boy, like yeah. a weekly spot. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's compl- like Stone Oak. Yeah, there's nothing there. So okay, well, but who wants to go to Stone Oak? Might as well go to Austin. Sh- the people in Stone Oak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're saying we got to take the show to them? If it'll help. I mean, he's got a point. Those are the people that actually probably spend money on it. Yeah. yeah, they're man. not afraid to tip. Because I know where I know where I live. Everyone's just trying to get by. Yeah, everyone's trying to pay mortgage or rent. Yeah, look at these four walls, bro. They got, <laughs> they got no extra, <laughs> nothing extra. Uh, okay, but so what happens uh, if you get caught up at Kill Tony? Do you have your minute already? I do for have that? a minute ready. Yeah, I do have. A you want to do it right now? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. Let's practice. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Uh, have I'll you t- ever? I'll tell y'all off off air. Have you ever tried to do Kill Tony? I did try. It was like I think my first year of comedy, like two three years ago. I actually saw you i went with somebody we both signed up what and we were just name? all waiting around in this like red room um, oh when it was at uh, anton's yeah i think at so anton. yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. was like i was with this girl and i was like hey i think fucking i know that guy over there 
Yeah, he looks familiar. I know that fat guy. <laughs> have you, I, did, have, I, heard, I thought you said something else. No. <laughs> you said it real fast. <laughs> no, 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 and no. It looked no, like, you know. No, no, I've never, never. But yeah, I signed up one time only ever, and that's when I first. I'm so it. nervous. Did you, okay, I'll be honest. Did you practice your minute and did you practice your interview? Absolutely not. <laughs> no? No. So you, Jackie's not much of a studier. Have you practiced, <laughs> you practiced your minute? Well, that, that's did the you thing. practice your interview? Me, me uh, Aldo, and Della, we'll just sit there and Aldo will be like, Yo, shout loser, out Aldo Caldo. Loser, coming to the stage. And he'll just do your minute. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> like, did that to me in front of Louis the Singer. Yeah, he, he, pre- he like, if he's your homie, he's going to prep you. I yeah. think it's hard to practice your interview because, like, if you want to talk about certain stuff, they'll probably just direct it somewhere else. Like, eh. I think that, it's one of the one prepare for the worst. Practice. We just practice our minute. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess because I've, I've, I did it before, but uh-huh. I did it, like, six years ago before it blew up. Uh-huh. I did it when they were, they were still out of L.A. They were touring, whatever. Uh, I did it at the Laugh Out Loud uh, comedy club, and that's what actually like put the fire in my ass to like do this daily and fucking blow up and all this stuff because of that. So I have practiced the interview. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty gay. Uh, but, uh, well, Tony, <laughs> <laughs> what if you hit him like the glad you asked? <laughs> and I was gonna make a, a quick joke. You know, I did the, the Mexican drum off, but I lost because it's rigged. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but I've seen like people that we the guy know. Maybe always wins. <laughs> no, yeah, I've seen yeah, like yeah. people we know bomb on just the interview. Yeah, yeah, they they force it. Like you can't force it. You can't like don't f- just talk. Just like, talk. Yeah, just be real. You try it'll. You'll say something funny yeah. if you take that away from it. I think. Yeah. Like Patrick Christopher, get us something. You say mean Papi Chulo? This is my Tony impression. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little bit more sugar in it. Poppy Chula. Tell us something <laughs> that we will make us like you. <laughs> Tell us something that will make us like you. What's one good quality, perhaps, a good trait about you that we might like? Fat that, dude. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty spot on, that's man. Pretty good. It fucking made me nervous. I knew it was you. But I was like, oh, Tony? <laughs> I was over here like this. I was like, hey. I, was like I don't know. I played all, all, all I do is I want to tell Tony, uh, I hate the way you say Mexicans. How is it Mexican? I just just right. used to do it. Just, on, I can't, no, I'm not gonna. Come do it. on, no, I'm not Mexican. gonna do it. I just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like <laughs> scratching the fucking. Chunk. Really? Yeah. Well, for me at least. It's so crazy how how big it is now, man. I mean, they're doing fucking one point four in two days. Madison That's Square Garden. One point four in two days. Yeah. One point four million views. It's it's crazy, and it, it comes with good and bad, you know, because like there are a lot of like crazy people out there. You know, the, you see these people that sign up. You're like, damn, am, am I, am I that? You know, <laughs> am I, am yeah, I that? Some, sometimes I don't know if they're homeless okay. or the comic <laughs> or homie. Uh, it's mental <laughs> illness. Because at the poor sure. house, it's like a mixture of everybody. Because all right, so I've been there. I've been there a dozen times. Uh, I would take pictures of everybody in the alley. And I was steadily doing it in the alley. You remember that? Actually, you were there the night when it started getting rowdy. Yeah, we almost got jumped by some homeless people, <laughs> houseless, whatever. So I'm taking pictures in the alley homeless. of comics. And I remember they were just all, hey, homie, what are you doing? Hey, yo, what are you doing? Why are you taking pictures? Yeah. And I was just like, yo, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I, and like, I was about to take off before you said that. I was like, don't bitch out, don't bitch out. Because I heard them. I was like, don't run, don't run, don't run. And you're like, we, we got to go. I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> After that time, I started. I totally got a lot of confidence, and I just started taking pictures in the crowd. Yeah. And then now I'll tell people like, "Hey, get out of the way! I'm trying to do this." And yeah. They'll they'll be respectful at least. Yeah, man. Do you ever think like having like if that person isn't blocking the person you're trying to shoot, would it make the picture look better? It depends, but usually most of the time I'm just like, "Yo, uh, can I do something real quick?" Okay. Because mm. always like you always see like the random person like just like this when you're taking a picture of whatever. It's like. Hey, that looks kind of cool. I wonder if they put that person in there yeah. to do that. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. If it's all set up. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, man. But like, yeah, I think I think a lot of people know they know that you're taking pictures of people. They kind of interested. Like, oh, why, why is he taking a picture of him? Like, who is that guy and all this stuff? I've noticed that that's get, the celebrity shit. I kind of get different looks now that you know you've been posting my pictures or shooting my pictures and stuff. So they go, like, oh, here's who, who's that guy. And nobody yeah. knows who I am because I'm from San Antonio and so, stuff. S- sometimes it works in my favor. Sometimes people are just like, "Oh, do you work for do you work for a uh, uh, Kill Tony?" I'm just like, "No," and they're like, "Oh, no, no." Really? People I've had told that you no twice. Really? So he accepts my pictures. <laughs> I've actually had that from a San Antonio comic too. Who? I I don't. It don't matter. 
Really? Damn. I, I got questions. <laughs> Join the Patreon that just started right now <laughs> to get all the fucking bleeps and bloops and bleeps. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Uh, here's another thing. We were talking about Aldo. Uh-huh. So, uh, I lost my watch. <laughs> okay. I In a lift with Chris. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, well, okay, well, well, explain it. Like, so he you know Chris? he drove them from here to Nashville during well, the country music festival for CMA oh, okay, Fest. Okay, yeah, yeah, when they when they went the, the first time, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, the whole disposable camera shit. No, no, that that, that was this past time, that past tour. Okay, okay. Well, I, when did I go like two months ago, three months Maybe, ago, yeah. something like that? Uh-huh. All right, and it, it was for Louis, mm-hmm. Louis the singer, which check him out. Um, and so we we were drinking, we were having a good time. And then we take a lift, and Chris was like, hey, if you're going to come home, like, if you're going to roll with us, roll with us, we're leaving now. I lost my watch in the lift. Mind you, I ju- it, it's like not even a month old there. Uh-huh. So I'm like tripping. I can't find it. I GPS it, and it's at the lift lady's house. <laughs> like in the house or still in the car? In the car at the oh, house. Okay, okay, at okay. her location. Yeah. At oh, her okay, house okay. in Goodlettsville. <laughs> Tennessee. Goodlittsville. Goodlittsville. <laughs> and um so I can't go early in the morning. We have a we have to be at a, at the show at like nine or ten AM. Uh-huh. So we do the show, have a good time. And then uh me and Aldo are kicking it and Aldo was like, Hey, I'm gonna go to Louis B and B. You wanna roll? I was like, Fuck yeah. So we go to the B and B with Louis and um we're taking dabs, we're having a good time. Every, it's all love, it's all good. And then I'm telling, I'm telling Aldo about the watch. I was like, I, cause I took Chris's phone and I tried to message the lady. Uh-huh. So I'm like messaging her through his phone on the app. To as like, Chris Perez or you? As her. Oh. As well, Chris. Hey. As Chris. <sighs> but she don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> you're right. You're in Giblettsville. Good, Goodlettsville. No, we're in Nashville. <laughs> but so we go to the, we're at the B&B and, uh. I was like, I'm talking to Aldo. Aldo was like, fuck it, bro. I'll roll with you. And I was like, bro, are you like, do you think this is a bad idea? Like, I don't know like what the protocol is. I was like, I hit her up at 9 a.m. I hit her up at 11 a.m. She didn't respond, but I know my shit's there. <laughs> so he was like, fuck it. Let's go. So we mashed. It was like a 26, 30 minute drive. Uh-huh. We go over there. I knock on the door. There's video of him recording me oh, walking up shit. to the door. Oh, Aldo recorded it? Yeah. He oh, recorded, shit. No, he recorded me from the from the truck, from the van. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, his windows are up. It's kind of, like, raining and shit. And, uh... We need that footage. It turn, <laughs> I have it. It turns into a whole ordeal. <laughs> what do you mean? So... Was it, was it like the Waco standoff? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh-huh. Um, Did you get your watch? Yep. There you go. <laughs> but but you, you, also, you have to wrestle in Giblettsville? No, good. Goodlettsville. <laughs> so, no, me and Aldo, we finally get a hold. We, we talk to the lady's son. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we start talking on the phone, she's like, don't come to my house like that. How do you get my address? She starts going in on me. I was like, look, look, look. I just need my watch. That's it. So she starts playing, like, tag with me. So we have to end up going downtown Nashville on Broadway where there's nowhere to go. We, I end up finally meeting her. She tells me, like, I need to be compensated for this. Even though you went oh, to wait. her place? Yeah. Oh, you went to her place, and then you drove back to Nashville to meet her? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. All right. And she was like, she goes, uh, but I need the money now. I was like, well, all I got is cash. And then she goes, oh, all right, well, I'll be here. So she plays, She makes me wait for, like, seriously, like 10, 15 minutes. Aldo is on the side of the street in the van, just posted up. I was like, yo, circle the block. If they tell you to move. He was like, all right, I got it. So I ended up going to the lady. And as soon as I get to her car, uh, she goes, my husband wants to talk to you. Uh-oh. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and he's on Bluetooth. And she, her husband, he's on Bluetooth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the husband's like, where the fuck do you think? Like, you're coming to my house. You got a fucking blah, blah, blah. And he starts going off on me. I was like, like, all right, I get it. You're mad. I, I need the watch. That's it. I, I go back to Texas tomorrow. Give me the watch. So I gave her 25 cash. And I, she goes to her husband. And she goes, he only gave me $25. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I was going to Apple pay you another 25. Uh-huh. And she goes, okay, well, Apple pay me. It's like, nah, give me the watch. No. 25 bucks should have been enough. No, That's so what, that was my we thing. Apple paid. I was like, all right, look, I sent it. 
She's like, hold on, I didn't get it yet. And she's like, okay, I got it. Here's your watch. She's like, but don't be coming to people's houses. She's still lecturing me on this shit. So, all right, I got my watch. All right, peace. We're out. I go to Aldo. Aldo immediately. Aldo's laid back, but he's not. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's no. real laid oh, yo, back. Yo, yo, yo. Aldo's gutter, bro. Yes. Aldo, he's so, some, he's so chill. He's, he's so chill. <laughs> but then I told him what happens. He goes, man, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Who does that bitch think she fucking is? So that started putting the seed in my head. So uh, what ended up happening is I got all I got all her information. A lot. A lot. <laughs> it's I'll ridiculous. show you at the end of this. Family trees and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, they all employers and shit. Nah, some are in Houston. <laughs> nah. Damn, that's creepy. I love it. Uh, Dog, but I, I felt so disrespected. Like, it's, and then I found her Facebook. When I found her Facebook, it's all religious shit. So that, like, that put the cherry on top. So I was like, bitch, you're fucking with me, and you want to play this game. And she called him a bitch. No, uh, basically. <laughs> I mean, she deboed you out of some so, cash. Yes. For real. So we have all what, this information. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, punk. And all right, so me and Aldo were talking. And I told him, like, I showed him everything I had on her. Uh, and he was like, you should send it, send it to her. No, but what I was going to do was like a whole cheating scandal. Like, hey, we really appreciate when you leave your address. You know, when your son graduates, can you send him to Houston so me and him can be cool? And I was going to send it to the lady. As a lady. As a, as, yeah, as the side piece. Just destroying her life. <laughs> yeah. But Just not dest- fucking with her money. She fucked with my money. I'm I'm gonna be the I'm gonna take the higher ground. And just fuck her whole life up. <laughs> the higher ground. Yeah. No, dude. Right? The higher ground's not getting that information. So we're trying to get I'm trying to get Aldo on for the October show. Cause uh October October's D Day. Oh, that's right. And I've been Where? You're still on it? You're still on I it. I want to do hundred percent. No, no, you I, haven't chilled, no, you haven't lost it. Not even guess. a little bit, dude. This is World War II. He's been running test runs still. <laughs> like, bro, I was <laughs> it, Japan, it's Pearl so, and what, been, what I want to do is when I send the text. So many drafts. I want all so to do it. <laughs> I want Aldo to hit the send. No oh, shit. Oh, man, an accomplice. Press a button. Prove you're not a cop. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> Press the button. Come on. That's, the, line. that's the homie right there, man. I love Aldo. Is he from here? Nah. From San Francisco? Oh, dude. He was in Menudo. No, yeah, I know that. He was the first one to get kicked out. He's, yeah. from, he's from some like little Pecos. I want to say Pecos. I for think, real? Oh, I okay. think. Shit, that's where G's from. Hector? I could be wrong. No shit. But uh, does it stay in Austin or it stays here? Austin. Uh, Pflugerville. Pflugerville. Nice uh, house. Yeah. He's a cool guy. He's been on Kill Tony a couple of times. Play with the band and all that stuff. Yeah, he, he killed it. When he oh, did it. I saw that. Yeah, he got the little cool. bug thing. That's dope. Yeah, what bug thing? The little bug gun. Uh-uh. The assault rifle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The assault rifle? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Have you seen those things? They yeah. Put, they put salt in their... Sh- my, yeah. I'm trying crazy. to tase my big brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, so wait, am I overreacting? About what? About the lady in Giblettsville? Goodlesville. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if that was your watch and that was Am your I wrong? money? And that was what? What would you do if you were in Scott's shoes? I would have called the police in front of her house. Really? Call Hell the police? Yeah. Get Why the police not? Involved. But by the time I got to the house, she was already working. Watch wasn't there. She got to come back home. Interesting. How long am I supposed to wait there? With if the, the cops are there, she's gonna come home. Ah, uh, I don't know. Dang. Okay, so See, we're past so that were, part. There were uh, co- cops are good for like two things. Help you get your shit back. Uh, uh, insurance paperwork. And finally, finding a fucking cat in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's firemen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, firemen are cool. So wait, do, do you think I'm wrong? Nah, man, fuck it. It's war. Yeah! It's war, bro. But he could have done. He could have handled it differently. You're saying? I have it. I mean, you you could have handled it a million ways. Yeah. You just chose the low road. Two. No, this whole time, <laughs> it's three, it's three. I was so respectful to her. I was so, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. One, it is your fault because you lost your watch. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What's two? <laughs> there no, there's, no, <laughs> there's two. no two. Is there a one B? <laughs> <laughs> and then one B, no, the one B. Uh, is that bitch. It's the pay. <laughs> I don't, there's a there's a saying in the Bible. Uh, don't believe it. Fi- Next. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Possessions That's totally in the Bible. <laughs> Whatever. That's in the Bible. <laughs> Moses totally said yeah, that shit. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, 
<laughs> are you still against this? Yeah, I'm very, I've, I've always been against this. I think it's a bad idea. I think... <laughs> I'm, I'm ready whenever you are. Bro, every time I tell anyone what's, what's happened, they're like... Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I think you should report it, report it to her her uh, superiors. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fuck with her money. I want to fuck with her life. See, that's the problem. I don't want I'm taking the high chop. road. That's, I want her <laughs> life. <laughs> that's life dude. Dog, hey, real quick. This is going to sound really fucked up. Whatever. Oh, metal, metal. Like, <laughs> is there any movies you watch where they have like a fucked up line, but it makes you laugh? A hundred percent. No, but it's like you shouldn't laugh at that line. Oh. Uh, blood in, blood out. Think about that. When yeah. he has the grenades and he goes to the black club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the, the, the bitch blows up. I was like, that. it's a funny thing to say. It's so fucked up. It's wrong. Uh, but the, the sentence is hilarious to me. Same with Fast and the Furious. I'm not going to say this word, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you won't say this one, but okay. Well, because I think it's a censor word. But okay. he, when they're when he's about to fight the first guy, and he's like, yo, like, you know, nobody likes the tuna, whatever. He goes, for $2.95, you get a double cheeseburger with fries. Uh. <laughs> Hilarious. On Fast and Furious? Yeah. yeah the first I one. love how you still said it. You just said it <laughs> yeah, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said it like a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do y'all have any movies like that? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I, off the bat, I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm pretty sure there there's some, you know, that are ridiculous. But nah, you had that loaded though. Hey, he was ready. We were talking about it today. Yeah. Yeah. Blood in, blood out. No, like shit. You're not supposed to laugh at in a movie. You mm. know, I talk about blood and blood out every day. It yeah. can, you know what? It always comes up. I, you're not supposed to laugh out of the movie, but I think it's so goddamn funny. Is one radio. I've never seen, seen it. That. Yeah, I've never seen radio. I know he's got the, the fucked up face. He's <sighs> arted. Damn, dude. There's he's a scene arted. where he's like, you know, he's you like... can't a, see it. Algorithms. He's like, yeah. They, oh. <laughs> he's like a mentally challenged kid. Yeah, right? arted. He's got, you know. And uh, the, the football team, like, wraps him up in tape with his his hands and <laughs> his they legs crime? inside of a garage <laughs> inside of this shed right and somebody finds him and they let him free so as soon as they let him free he runs out but when he runs out he trips on the door <laughs> and he falls to the ground <laughs> but hold on people falling is funny I know. <laughs> not all people. Because hey, you can be special. Not all gonna be people. It's going to be a good fall. Not all people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I man. I want to see that part. <laughs> fuck Just the movie. Part over yeah, and over fuck again. the movie. Oh, that's all you need. I'm, yeah, I've never seen that movie, but like, I got I to look it up just for oh. research. You don't purposes. have anything like that? Like Precious Falls Down the Stairs? I can't think of anything <laughs> like that, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is racist. You know what? No, I'll, I'll tell you off air. <laughs> But it was a funny thing I heard about Precious. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Man. If you want to edit it, you can. I'll tell you. No, we, 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 we can wrap up. Anything else you want to bring up? Hey, um, I want to roll. Let me let me roll with y'all for uh, next, was it next Friday? What's that? The show? The exhibit? Uh, oh, the 6th. Uh, first, first Friday, September 6th. That's next Friday? Yeah. No, no. <clears throat> Two Fridays. Two Fridays. Fridays. Fuck yeah, dude. I want to roll. Let me roll. Go, yeah. Hell yeah. Free to the public. Oh, never mind. Then I'm good. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be packed. Like first Fridays at Blue Stars always packed. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I, that's where I did my first showcase. Really? Yeah. I really at, like it there. I like showing there. At the brick? What's the annex? You mentioned the annex. It's a uh, one of just a little gallery in there. It's, it's all like the beginning of the parking lot, right by like the slab movie theater or whatever. I don't know. No, 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 no. It's slab on the cinema. Other side, it's like uh, uh, you know where the pizza spot is. Yeah. It's right around there. Oh. Okay. Is that walking distance? For me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll probably go check it out, man. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I'm super. I am so stoked about that. I'll yeah, be there. I, I want to check it out. I want to check it out so bad. I want to. I want to be around. Like, I'm, you know, I'm good showing people. a picture. So, uh, uh, <laughs> y'all know who heavyweight champion of the world is? Yeah. Uh, no. No yeah. heavy. He's a uh, he's a comic from here. He's been on Kill Tony. Um, Tony, like, they made fun of him pretty bad. He did a GoFundMe to get weight loss surgery. Well, yeah. Anyways, he wanted to do some pictures. Uh, you know, is he a, that big in a speedo? He's like 400 pounds. Okay. Five he said 500. He said oh, he's probably 500. 500 like, yeah. he's a big no, boy. He's, he's, a big, he's a big boy. He's a big um, so we did, we did a shoot, and he was in a Speedo, and I didn't want to do it at my house. He Obviously. didn't want to do it at his house. So we did it in a one-hour motel. 
Hell yeah. You know what I mean? One of those yeah. off West Commerce. Like and we had to go to like we had Oh, to you don't like, mind sharing that address, homie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to shout out to them, man. Like the real we went, workers. We went to like four hotels and they denied us. Yeah. They just said kinda, I need it for an hour. Well, no, no. They fucking they will they sell condoms at the 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 front, yeah. But they were like, it was me, and my lady, and <laughs> put today's newspaper, yeah. Because I had my lady like holding a light for us and shit, and like but they, they, they just kind of looked at us and they were like, no, not not him, <laughs> not him, dog, <laughs> not him, you not too? again, baby. <laughs> Like, heavyweight, <laughs> fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> and one of the hotels we were at, it was like Culebra and General McMullen, and uh, these dudes were like trapping out of it, and they were just like. All creeped out, staring at us all hard and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Did he walk in there with the speedo? No, no, no. That would have been no, awesome. No, no. <laughs> He's just standing there in the front door. Oiling himself up and shit. <laughs> it was a speedo. But we were, so we're in the room, and he has a little mask on, he has a little hat on, he has a speedo on. And a fucking roach crawls up the wall. It was fucking perfect, dude. dude. I you saw got it. the roach? You posted that picture, huh? yeah. You got the picture of the roach, too? Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's I mean, it wasn't anything up close. It's just like a little, you know, black dot. No, but it looks hard, then. I want to see it. But, but what you're saying is, like, that wasn't uh, staged. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. a real roach. I think you just answered the question. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah he's, 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 he's using them for mer merch. I think he's going to make birthday cards. I'm showing a picture from that shoot, because that was... It's probably one of my favorite shoots I've done this year. Yeah, yeah. It was just a lot of fun. Hell yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, but I hell yeah, dude. Uh, I stayed at one of those uh, one-hour motels one time. For three stayed? months? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, not stayed. For an hour. I stayed yeah, for yeah. An hour. Well, that's oh. not a stay. You, you took a knockdown or <laughs> a knock boy? A stay. <laughs> knockdown or knock boy? Which one? What? That was a girl. You occupied one. Yeah, I occupied one. And uh, it, the, the room was so tiny. <laughs> Like the size, like they they had the whole ceiling was a mirror. <laughs> so you could see yourself. Is it still this, around? This one was clouds. <laughs> <laughs> clouds. Yeah, it was hilarious. Dang, dude. Uh, I've That's never done fun. any of those, dude. Yeah. Uh, you know, I won't. You won't? You it won't was... what? Go to a one hour. Hey, I got, so I got class. Hey, you got your principles. Yeah. Dog, I stand on that. <laughs> but you'll show up in fucking some lady's house in Giblettsville. <laughs> Give me my Yo, watch. That's my shit, son. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, anything you you want to be around for D-Day? What, what's that? When he oh, press, uh, press said. Yeah, let's fucking go, bro. All right. I'll show you what I got on her. <laughs> it's wild. Dude. It's wild. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, Jakey5 underscore on Instagram. Uh, next Friday, uh, August the 30th, we will be at Tandem. Um Hank Garza in the Alamo City Roast Battle. That's going to be pretty dope. Shout out That's Hank. That's going on. Shout out Hank Garza, man. Had me on a couple already. I fuck with Hank, so I appreciate you for having me. Shout out Tandem. Um, the weekend after that, September 6th, I'll be with uh, Danny with the I and, uh, at the Mexicana Cafe. Shout out to her and, um, and Jamel. C. Wayne and Jamel. Shout out to them, man. I think we got him coming up. Yeah, we do. Uh, look forward. Uh, keep your eyes out for that episode and then um, I think that same night I think is when uh, fingers crossed everything goes through with the station and uh, that, that's going to be a dope weekend next is weekend. it still going to be the station <clears throat> yeah okay yeah so yeah uh, Jakey5 on the score Instagram uh, real quick 919 all three of us oh yeah we got the big clay big benefit yes uh, it's going to be at, uh, upstage everyone that, I, that, that has been booked for this show is all paid comics and everyone's donating all their time for free and uh, uh, shout out to Smitty, uh, Bobby. He's coming up. He's going to be coming up before we do the show. Yeah. And uh, he's giving 100% of the door to Lauren in Brooklyn. Nice, nice. So, you know, we genuinely, we genuinely appreciate that. Um, mm. Yeah. Let a fuck A off. Y'all show up for that. Thank you. Dude, yeah, dude. That's so crazy. Oh, at mall underscore liquor underscore poppy. Actually, we got Jakey hosting that motherfucker, too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, Jakey brings energy like a motherfucker. He's good at hosting. Host. No, nah, it's, it's it's an honor, dude, because, like, really quick backstory. Like, when I first started comedy, Clay was, like, one of the first dudes who mm -hmm. ever made me feel fucking welcomed mm -hmm. as shit, dude. Like, so, so fucking cool. He never had to do that, but he did. And I'm from Floresville, Texas. I visit my father's grave. He's buried right across, like, the street Insane. It's crazy. Life's fucking weird sometimes. But I, are you about to cry? I went to go visit him. You nah, it's small world. It was you bitch. Yeah, small, small world, world dude. So uh, I was like, man, that's crazy. You're a bully. Yeah. What? <laughs> I got don't, bullied. Don't feel nothing on this guy, man. <laughs> let, let him have his emotional baggage. You know. You know what? You know what? This is what it is for me. I think I finally got over my period. There you go. I finally got over it. There One. There you go. And so now nobody could be a bitch. <laughs> Two. We pulled the string out. Two. Two. I want to say. 
This is the first time where I've gotten over my period and I didn't use drugs. Oh, nice, Look dude. Look at that. That's called that's, growth. That's growth. That is growth. Until tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, August 31st, I have a headlining spot, a uh, headlining gig at Arenas Marquise or something. Uh, something off of 604, go to com for those tickets. Uh, September 5th, I will be at Upstage for the uh, Debo's Comedy Heads Showcase and open mic after that. Hi, Jerry. Uh, bu- 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 Bye, what is Jerry. Six? Uh, September 6th, uh, Station coming back, uh, probably, probably, fingers crossed. Uh, then September 11th, Hot Damn Comedy Show. <laughs> Hot damn. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, on your birthday. Hot damn at the Laugh Out Loud Comic Club. Uh, tickets are live. Go to uh, improvtx.com to get those tickets. Uh, the 19th, I'll be back at Upstage for a big clay thing. Uh, the 20th, I'm at Kissing Tree. I think that's in San Marcos or New Braunfels. Same, same. Uh, 21st, Kiss I'll be downtown. Uh, we'll announce that later on. 27th, Laredo, if you're listening. Laredo, I will be out there headlining. Uh, I don't know the spot, but I will be. <laughs> I don't know the name of the spot, but I know it's in Laredo. And, uh, if you're there, I'm there. That's fifty percent of the battle. Let's be there. Uh, but I'll announce that more. But that's on September 27th. Do another headlining gig out in Laredo. Come fuck with it. Uh, Bobacolecore.com at your homie Pat, and we'll see you next time. One more time, plug the the your shows. Loser.com, Loser.com, Delusico, T E L E W S I C O, L E W S R, September 6th. The Annex at Blue Star. Stay out of trouble, motherfuckers. Bye, everybody. Bye. Peace. Peace.